Dubious Engineering, yes indeed, it's a Roberts R707, a fantastic radio, old school, properly vintage, genuine Roberts, I found it on eBay, a few quid, trouble is with these bad boys is you just can't get the batteries for them anymore, it's got some lovely functions, little turntable on the bottom of it, and um, obviously, you know, long wave, medium wave, short wave, and VHF, FM, frequency modulation as, as well as amplitude modulation. Lovely telescopic antenna. Do, 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 Look at that. Yeah, lovely telescopic antenna. Uh, tuny, tuny knob. Everything works. I mean, it's, it's aside from, aside from the fact that you can't get batteries for it anymore. So, here's the plan. Lithium ion me up, yeah. So I've 3D printed a couple of lithium ion holders and the plan is to put this set of lithium ion cells into the back <laughs> of this bad boy, here we go. So first things first, install some kind of charge connector. Um, oh yeah, just let's have a look in the back of this bad boy. Lovely ferrite rod here uh, with various different coils on it. And the idea of this ferrite rod is it collects the radio waves and directs them into the coils. Effectively, it's like an internal antenna. Um, so that's really quite cool. And this is sort of used for the short wave, long wave, medium wave frequencies. Um, and then obviously the antenna on the top here. <laughs> Let me zoom out. And then obviously the antenna on the top here is used for the VHF FM uh, frequencies. And there's a beautiful, beautiful face on this. If I just spin that around for you so you can see it and we'll zoom in on it a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's even Welshland on here and Scotland on here. You could probably listen to Big Clive on this, but um, yeah, fantastic bit of engineering. Luxembourg, or oh, let's tune into Luxembourg, there we go. Yeah, fantastic. Let's tune into Big Clive. Hey, you lot, I'm just, yeah, that's grand, fantastic. Lovely Big Clive here. Oh, 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 oh. oh I could eat a baby for breakfast. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> where's that going? All right, so uh, just bear with us a bit then, and let's, um, let's fit this in it. So, first of all, we need uh, 12 volts approximately. So, these bad boys, what we're going to do is we're going to put two in parallel, two in parallel, two in parallel, and then we're going to tie them all up in series to effectively produce a 12 volt power pack. Okay, so we've put together three sets in parallel. Now what we've got to do is we've got to connect negative to positive to negative to positive. Two more cables. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, then it's time to get out the fluke and figure out have we achieved the voltage we're looking for these are not the droids you're looking for the batteries you're looking for so positive and negative 12.4 something volts absolutely spot on okay so then what we're gonna do here's the uh, RC connector the uh, 12 volt connector it's got um, 
positive and ne negative pins uh, clearly identified by the shape that this is uh, a sort of a semicircle and this is a complete square. So two cables, one positive, one negative, going to the charge circuit and also going to drive the radio. So let's get the negative on this terminal here. How do we want to do this? Yeah, how are we going to do? Ooh, is that going to fit? No, so we're going to have to go sideways. Sorry, <laughs> positive's on. Right, and now what we've got to do is chuck negative on this back end here. Look at that. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Obviously, we're going to have to hot glue that in there. Dubious hot glue. Let's see if this thing works. I'll just close the back up. Do, 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 do. Right. Oh. Imagine that's been like totally. Really rather profiting from getting stuck in, staying in one Pujara, you would imagine, might also suit it. Detecting and Affected around the same time as the report is, is being cleared for publication. It was to work heavily above terrorists, but he conceded that innocent lives were also at stake. We hope that the members of the terrorist organizations have enough common sense to stop resistance and to lay down their arms. Everyone this, this is sounding magnificent. We've got bass and treble controls. It's got a big fat hairy speaker on the front of it and I think it might be pumping out about sort of four or five watts of audio power. It's lovely. It's, it's got such a lovely round beautiful sound to it. Right let's get these batteries hot glued in. Okay a lovely little thing here is this label. Roberts Radio Co Limited, very important. It's essential in any inquiry regarding this receiver to quote model and serial numbers. Model R707, serial number 24749. That's just beautiful. Stapled into a lovely piece of, I don't know, pleather, perhaps it's called. <laughs> Plastic sort of leather. Anyway, beautiful. Right, let's get on with this, um, let's get on with this uh, hot glue episode. Right, here we go then. Hot glue. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Right, plenty of hot glue in there. So, that's done. Now what we've got to do is show you how I charge this bad boy. With this connector right here. Right then. So what we have here is a wonderful piece of lithium ion charging technology and it's what I use for a lot of stuff around the house actually. Uh, this is a LifePro balance charger. You can get cheap fake ones uh, and you can get um, a good one. So be careful uh, when you, if you were to buy one of these off of eBay. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm using it with an old Toshiba laptop power supply. So that just plugs into here. We'll fire this thing up. And then ultimately uh, there's a connected couple of crocodile clips on it and um, yeah if we plug that in like that this bad boy will fit with its uh, plus and minus connections ensuring the polarity is correct that will fit in there something like that and then we can use this to charge the radio how cool lithium ion powered modern technology in vintage old school equipment and i'll tell you this thing just sounds amazing i know i've said it once already but genuinely sounds fantastic right let's plug this in right then so here we go lithium ion polymer batteries are set up to 11.1 volts basically what you've got to do is um, press a few buttons ensure everything is set correctly uh, and then ultimately um, press and hold it says uh, it's going to check the battery out it's saying go ahead and let's see how we do and there it is 12 volts and we're charging it at about half an amp something like that Right then, in the old days, uh, the batteries that lived inside this bad boy, they might last uh, a couple of weeks. 
these bad boys all set up in here will last actually almost months with the amount of usage that this gets in the kitchen the missus turns it on listens to some stomping techno um but yeah you know while she's cooking anyway <laughs> the deal is these batteries will last an awfully awfully long time before they need recharging to be fair I should be installing some battery management systems to make sure that these lithium ion cells uh, are kept in check because if they're undercharged or overcharged they do have a tendency either to catch on fire or die uh, but that's sort of what makes this project a little dubious thank you thumbs up for the dubious engineering cheers guys